a couple from Germany who were staying in his location and uh, he called me and he said that this couple wanted to buy the green oven mitts that were in his kitchen and they wanted to give him $30 but had no cash. Could he use my uh, credit card machine to process the payment? So I was wondering, I mean, you know, I was asking, what do you mean they want to buy your green oven mitts? He says, yeah, they saw them, they loved them, they want to buy them and take them home with them. So I processed the transaction for him. And at that moment, I thought, is there a business here? Is there an opportunity for a host to uh, sell things to their uh, guests during their stay? And be and sell it was created at that moment. Because we really believe here as a company, there's so much more revenue a host can make with every booking. Um, so Be and Sell It was created to allow short-term rental property hosts to enhance the guest experience while significantly increasing revenue per stay. So this idea of someone wanting to buy something while they were there, take it home with them, created this whole notion that uh, outside of making just your booking revenue, there's so much more that can be made. And Be and Sell It since 2018 has evolved to what it is today. It's a platform that allows owners and operators of short-term rental properties, boutique hotels, executive suite rentals to earn significantly more revenue by selling or renting items located on the site to their guests during their stay. So it is a money-making platform that sends buy messages from the guest to the host and the host can then generate that uh, revenue per stay. These are items a guest can use during their stay or take home with them when they leave. So we find that the platform is so flexible that you can sell items that are located on site, souvenirs, or antiques, things you want to uh, local to your community, or even things like uh, pizzas in the freezer, bundles of firewood. Really, the imagination is the limit uh, to what we can you can make on this platform. So I'm going to play a quick little video uh, to give you guys uh, an idea of what it is. So while you're looking for it, let me just uh, talk to our attendees today and uh, let them know that uh, in case someone here does not know SingBnB, SingBnB is a channel manager for vacation rentals. So what that means is we help you list your property on multiple channels like Airbnb, Booking, Expedia, TripAdvisor, HomeAway, there's dozens of them. And then we make sure you never get a double booking by keeping all your calendars synchronized 24-7 in real time. Besides that, we offer a few more uh, features like team management, expense management, and other PMS style uh, services that make uh, SingBnB the only choice you need as a software uh, to manage your properties. SingBnB is now expanding its marketplace. B and Sell It is one of those uh, partners that we are now working with. So since um, Tony found the video, I'll just put a pause here and let him continue with the uh, video. Okay, so then I just hit play. Yeah, that's perfect. Now we can see it.
Okay, so that was a little kind of a video presentation of the different categories and things that people rent or sell to their guests. Uh, you can organize uh, on the platform or the app. Uh, you can organize your inventory into different categories, merchandise, mini bar, even put meals like frozen pizzas in the fridge or things that, you know, you want to enhance the guest experience or the rental category. Um, with uh, with um, B and Sell It, we give hosts a number of options to engage with the platform. We, help, we call the first one self-managed. This means that the host can uh, organize their own marketplace with items they can source from their local supplier and put them all, all around their, per their property for the guests to discover using the app. Or we call we have something called the Marketplace Kit Program, which the host can subscribe to pre-configured kits, uh, which contain items to enhance the guest experience. Um, and these are sent directly to the location through the supplier partners of Be and Sell It. Um, and then you can refill or restock the items from the marketplace or again from your local supplier. Or the most popular one our, our hosts use is called the hybrid model, which they participate in the marketplace kit program, but also add their own items to enhance the, uh, the, uh, the marketplace experience. So the platform, as I said, is very flexible. It allows for uh, easy posting and managing of the inventory through the platform and can, part and can organize it into multiple ways. Um, these are some photos of how uh, hosts organize their marketplaces. You can see that depending on you know where you want the items in the in the location to be located when it when a guest arrives they scan a QR code or a host ID code and it unlocks everything that's for sale just in that location so it's a way to not only see what's for sale in, uh, visually but also to explore what the host may have in their environment just to enhance that guest experience so it could be items that people forget you know, or it could be things really local. For example, you see the one on the left in Florida, they made it very beach oriented. You can purchase everything from, you know, a sunscreen to toys for the kids in the marketplace, et cetera. So people get really creative what they sell and they make quite a bit of money on the transaction because nothing is more valuable than a captive consumer. And a guest in a, in a location is relatively captive, right? There's You have them there and it's just a way to to engage with them and, and conduct the transaction. This is a what we call the marketplace starter kit. And this is what we uh, we we talk about when we sub, when you subscribe. Say you don't know what to sell, you want to get started, but you're not really sure what you want to to offer your guests. Well, this is a combination of about 27 items that are the most popular sold items in the in the network. And uh, everything from first aid kits to uh, you know helping you sleep better to uh, you know, movie night packages, chips, popcorn, things that people, you know, m may have forgotten to bring on their trip or just use to kind of, you know, enhance their experience. So as you can see here, this marketplace kit comes with these products. And then you're, uh, you scan the QR code and you make a purchase using the platform. It's pretty simple. So this is a sample of, uh, and I, I would be able to share this presentation. You, you can see this in more detail. I can send it to the to the participants, if the if the the audience, if you wish, but these are the items that you get inside a subscribed marketplace kit, ready to go. Just put it on the counter, display your um, your QR code, and when people arrive, they can download the app or scan the QR code to make an instant purchase. Just some data that we probably know what's happening in the short term rental marketplace. You know, a lot of you probably are aware of this. We see the uh, forecast for available listings in the U.S. primarily as a target, as a base, going up. Uh, occupancy rates are going up, or you know, at least we predicted to go higher than they were pre-pandemic. Uh, average daily rates are, are you know, are steady. But the, the important thing is, is the revenue is kind of declining as as supply is increasing. So we really want to show that if the uh, the average uh, rate rental rates or booking rates are declining we really need to figure out how we can make more money per stay and this is what this platform does so we know that the first quarter of this year has been strong for short-term rentals you probably all, all know this data <clears throat> but we're really excited about what the short-term rental or 
uh, vacation rental property industry is, is go growing into. Uh, people understand that it's great value, it's great experiences. And for us and people that are in the business, we can really monetize that experience. So what's important um, about the business is that the company owns all of its own technology. So all of this is technology that is owned and operated by being sell it, including uh, the payment gateway that we control. So we manage all the money. It goes, goes into our payment network. It takes the payment from the credit card or Apple Pay or whatever, and it automatically distributes the funds through the payment network into our host bank account or our partner's bank account, depending on on um, how the system, how we set up our relationship. So when you make someone purchases something, you receive the funds in your account within 72 hours. It's usually within 24 hours, but within 72 hours, it's auto deposited into your account. So it works much like if you ever operated a retail store or a restaurant, when people pay the car the next day, the funds or that evening, the funds are deposited into your account. Our payment network and our payment gateway actually operates in the very same way. So this partnership or our relationship with Sync BNB hosts uh, will receive an automatic discount from our regularly uh, fee of 20% transaction fee. We're gonna reduce the fee to 12%. So, so for every transaction you make or your guests make on the platform, you're gonna pay 12%, which is inclusive of the credit card processing fees and all fees. So you, you essentially keep 88% of everything you sell by using the promo code SYNC74. And as I mentioned earlier, you get the deposits in your account with uh, 72 within 72 hours. And you get free access to the replenishment portal. So you get access to our, 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 our product channel to get to purchase items and ship to your locations at draft at, at sort of uh, aggregated or wholesale prices that we've been able to arrange on a, on a volume buy. So that replenishment portal allows you to purchase things below your normal wholesale prices in general wholesale um, across all our, our supply channels. So you could buy things like champagne, bottles of water, uh, you know, souvenirs, trinkets localized to your, your marketplace, whatever the whole the marketplace has, you can access that as part of the as part of the uh, partnership program. Um, and one special offer that we're going to offer all Sync BNB hosts who register is we're going to give you the first starter kit, starter kit free at no upfront cost. And you get to keep 88% of all the sales, just like we said before. So we will ship one of these full kits to you uh, when you use that SYNC74 key uh, a referral code. And this is for you to put in your location so you can see how the power of that 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 platform and how much money you can make. You can then reorder items within the kit or you can add items yourself. So this is a, a sub special offer just for your Sync BNB hosts that get this free kit. The retail value is just under $300. So you'll make over $250 on this kit and, um, and gives you an opportunity to experience the platform without having to really think about what you should uh, sell on it. You know, So this is again, something that um, we're offering to the partnership here. So these are some testimonials. Um, you know, we're getting a lot of people using it. A lot of people love it. A lot of people are making quite a bit of money. The, 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 our most successful host has made already over $5,000 in the first four months of using the platform, um, selling artwork from local supplier uh, artists to antiques to snacks. And so he's been very successful with it. So these are just some testimonials um, that people are saying about our platform already. Um, Primarily uh, in sort of destination sites, we're not really very popular in sort of the urban big city markets. So most of our hosts are destination or urban or suburban or rural markets, and they seem to have the best success with the platform. Anyway, that's uh, the presentation. Um, I'm happy to take uh, questions now. Um, Rami, thank you very much for the presentation. It was amazing. This is a service I'm sure everyone here would love to use, including myself. <laughs> I expect to hear more from me as a customer. I also have a, an Airbnb, a few Airbnbs that I uh, manage. So um, as, uh, while we're taking questions from the audience in the chat, 
uh, let me take the opportunity to ask a few questions of my own. So, sure. uh, first question is the, uh, the 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 package you showed at the end that you yes. will send to uh, interested the hosts. Uh, is that available to every country or just specific countries? Uh, it is pretty much uh, available. We've only shipped those out in North America. We'd have to just see logistically because a lot of the products inside the kit are uh, are food items like candies, M and M's, chocolate. So we just have to see how that would work in terms of, or we can send the uh, the kit. Uh, you know those items empty and you fill them yourself. So you get the the tubes and you put your own products in there, right? So yeah. so there's an option that, uh, like that. Um, but we we're open ended with that. We when we send the kit out, you can we send you suggested retail pricing on it, but you can change the price. You can even change the uh, the makeup of the kit. You can take things out, add your own things to it. It's just something to present to your guests on the right. first first experience. You know. Uh, next question. Um, so, what prevents a bad guest from just putting everything in, in his bag and leaving? In yeah. his bag and leaving. Yeah. that's the number one uh, number one okay. question we get asked. You know, is what happens. So, really, with any stay, you know, you really can't control what people take. You know, it could be this item or it could be something else. It's usually, know? linen or towels, <laughs> right? Or <laughs> salt and minutes, pepper shakers, or, yeah. or you know, things like like that. Things that they think. But you know, we um. We, we we haven't seen much of that, like you know, in 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 our market yet. You know, I don't want to wish it, but really, the, there seems to be this idea that if you're booking something, you have a deposit that they're going to be dinged on the deposit if they take it. So we know there's going to be shrink, but we don't see. We're not too concerned about it, and mm -hmm. we are exploring this idea of having a um, a coverage blanket coverage for theft related to be and sell it. So, for example, you're covered up to $500 if somebody takes something related to the marketplace. So if you post it on our app and it disappears, we could make a claim. And we would pay a, a percentage of all sales to the insurance company to cover it. It would be covered as a blanket insurance policy. We're exploring that, but we haven't even seen enough of theft to make that even a consideration at this moment. You know? Mm -hmm. Cool. And last question from me, and then I'll just pass it on to our uh, guests and visitors today. So the last question is, are there any legal requirements uh, that need to be met by the host in order to be able to sell items in his house? So anytime, uh, re remember, this is a transaction between a private transaction between the host and the guest. Mm -hmm. we, we, the platform facilitates the transaction, but we're not in the business of selling things to the guest, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, even the rental, it's even safer to use the, our module because the guest will sign an online waiver of liability before he gets access to the rental, right? Most people leave their bikes there. If somebody gets hurt, you know, the, the host is on the hook for it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so we don't dictate. We don't we don't establish pricing. The host and the guest relationship is no different than if I'm selling something privately to a host, uh, someone that walks in and comes into my house and I sell them something privately. So legally, there's no requirement to sell anything on a private transaction. Mm -hmm. Any um, um, regulatory requirements for food and beverage? Again, it's only up to you, the host. And, the, you know, uh, we have guests, hosts that sell bottles of wine, champagne, and, you know, they do do that. They lock it in a lock. But cap. it's the host's uh, responsibility to see what laws and right. regulations he has to meet, right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, would you like to just uh, look in the chat, take it from the from the top, and start scrolling downwards, okay. and just read out aloud the the questions that uh, you see and answer them? Okay. Uh, great. The first one I see is how is VAT handled from Marios Halkiadakis? You will see it about halfway down the scroll of the chat. Okay. So, so if I understand correctly, the products are in the property. That's the one I'm seeing first. Yeah, that's even lower down. There's another question a, a bit higher up, uh, okay. five, uh, three questions higher. How is VAT handled? Yeah, how is VAT okay. handled? So VAT is the same as HST in Canada. So mm -hmm. again, uh, most of these are considered private trend. We, we, 
legally they're private transactions. You're not a technical retail business. So um, so the transaction happens between the guests and the host, and, and it's up to the host if they want to apply for a VAT number or an HST number or and then charge that onto the uh, onto the fee and collect it and remit it. But we find that most of the hosts that have that value added tax or sales tax, like in Canada, they just uh, they just create uh, it's they consider it sort of a private non-reported. Like in Canada, if you don't sell over thirty thirty thousand dollars worth of sales in a year, you don't have to declare it. You don't have to collect it or bill it. You know, so it's a, on a private level. But not sure what the other rules are. But we do have the ability to charge it, turn on the VAT tax option, and you can collect it and remit it if that's something it's important in the jurisdiction that you're in. Great, thanks. And then it says, so if I understand correctly, the products are in the property and if the guest wishes to buy them, we encourage him to use the application. So yes, so these are items that are on site. These are not items that they can buy and then have to have somehow have shipped to them or delivered. So these are things that they can use during their stay or take home with them when they leave. So the idea is to encourage them to use the platform, the app to explore what's for sale, add it to the cart and then pay for it. Um, how can we make sure the guests don't use the things, never pay for them? Should it be indicated those things are for sale? So, yes, I mean, there's really no way to stop people from taking things, just like there's no way to stop people from taking things if they're not on the marketplace, right? So, but yes, I mean, what happens is when hosts sign up, we send them a welcome kit. And the welcome kit has stickers and signage and little things you put on your property that could, that informs the guest that, these are things for sale. And a lot of hosts now that are using it send um, a notice in the email, like a welcome email. By the way, these are things for sale. We have things for sale you can purchase during your stay and here download the app. They put that in the email. So with the signage and the really cool little things we give you to put in your, your unit, it kind of shows and directs the guests on how to make the transaction. So that was for Lena. Is that, is hopefully I answer that yeah, question I, I think you answered it uh, clearly so um, you send um, um, stickers and stuff like that to the yeah there's a welcome kit a package mm -hmm. and inside is like signs little cart signs you can put up in your in your location little peel like a vinyl stickers you can put on things that for sale it says buy me and a little QR code on them and you know and so lots of little things you use like coasters for the uh, table that you get that have information on what's for, you know, the QR code, you know. So yeah, the welcome kit is a nice little combination of point of purchase information. So the best practice for this is for the host to have a small um, place inside his home where he exhibits all the items that are for sale. So that the guest knows that whatever is on this, you know, um, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Counter uh, or sh yeah, yeah, counter, counter or whatever. Um, Whatever is here is for sale, so they can just use their phone to scan the QR code and take it. Yes, and and we find that sort of when you, yeah, you that's what the marketplace kit does. It creates this uh, this display that people connect and see the sign. It says purchase items. Use this QR code, so it's clear. But then you can um, uh, you can then put say you have some artwork you want to sell. You can put the sticker you know, right here and say, buy me, you know, and then so to, to let them know there's other things for sale. But the app itself, if they do download the app, it shows everything that's for sale in categories. And so it gives them an opportunity to visualize what's for sale. And yeah, cool. Um, Daisy Vidal is asking uh, to sign up with BNC. Is there a fee? Do you have a minimum sales requirement? No fee, no minimum sales, um, and the first kit will send you uh, at no cost as part of this this partnership. This, um, um, so yeah, there's never a fee. There's no monthly fee ever. You only pay when you sell something, and really that's it. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, Petros, can we make homemade products or have local products for sale? Yeah, you can. Um, you can put anything you want on the platform. We, as I said, hosts that are more uh, suburban or in rural areas, destination areas, they put the local coffee supplier, a little winery, they put products in there. And yeah, so the more local it is, the higher the revenue actually. So if you actually have things related to your market, 
that people can discover in your uh, marketplace, you'll find revenue much higher and sales much higher. So absolutely, we encourage. We've had people put, you know, soap that they make, artwork, um, mm -hmm. carvings, you know, uh, wow, everything, everything you can imagine. I mean, people have sold anything you can imagine on this thing, uh, on this platform. So, you know, they even even extend their stay, you know, using this platform versus going to a to on the actual booking platform, mm -hmm. you know, because it's cheaper, you know. Uh, before the uh, presentation, the, uh, the the live presentation started, you mentioned that uh, BN Salad is uh, part of a larger group of companies that has the know-how and the infrastructure to manage uh, many uh, millions of dollars of uh, transactions. Yes. Can you tell us a few more things about that? Yeah, so I mean, uh, as you can see, I'm a little older, you know, so I've been around for a while. So uh, I've been involved in the tech space for a long, long time. I sold my first uh, point of sale company to IBM in 1997. Um, and that was a basically an inventory control system for a fashion industry. So I did Versace, Benetton, uh, 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 Ralph Lauren. They were all my customers globally. So you had you had the startup exit before it was cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So before it was cool, yeah. Right, and then I started a new technology company way back in 2002 to develop a cloud-based or uh, you know emerging technologies for the restaurant and 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 retail industry. So this company was spun out of that company, and as I, as we were discussing, it's a company that's been around almost 20 years. We do over 100 million dollars in in payment processing and settlement for restaurants and retail locations globally. Uh, all you know, using our platform, so we do over three million transactions a month. Even even now, uh, during sort of these kind of lockdowns, we're still maintaining volume with our mobile uh, platforms that service delivery and and other types of sort of transactions that are moved to mobile. So you're you're working with a company that has lots and lots of experience. It's a technology that's been tried and true. We spun it out into be and sell it because it's a very dedicated specific market. We built an, an entire support and marketing team around it. And but it's based on a platform uh, that's been around quite a long time. Mm -hmm. Great. And uh, let's take a couple of more questions before we wrap this up. Uh, another question is, do you have a point of sale control of items sold. Not sure what that means. Yes, um, I know. I know what that means. Okay. So that's a great question because it's exactly what we do. So, you know, as I said just a few seconds ago, that my background is in point of sale and inventory control, and so we provide you with uh, an inventory management system onto the platform, either through the app or in the back office, where you can log in and track sales, inventory, units sold, replenishment. Uh, you know shrinkage all that stuff can be managed through a series of online reports so yes we do we do have some of those features that uh, give us sort of that the management side of the business especially when you're dealing with more than managing or hosting more than one location you know so yeah cool uh, and I, I should mention that we have a commercial division that we launched uh, in the spring that services multi-unit hotels uh, from 250 rooms and under and we go in and we manage the in-room commerce or bar or whatever you want to call it for those types of hotels. And we use this technology to re replenish the stock after every night stay, you know, not just. Mm -hmm. So that's the same platform we use for the individual hosts. Um, but we have, uh, you know, several 300 room, 250 room hotels in Canada using and we do the entire in-room commerce for them. Where can our attendees reach you for more questions after this is over? Yeah, I will um, just give you. I just can give you my e direct email address. You can contact me directly. Uh, we will send an email to everyone that attended with the mm -hmm. link to the uh, recording. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. also uh, you know the uh, the code, uh, yep. the, the discount code that you offered. Seventy four. We, yeah. we can add your uh, contact details there. Whatever is best uh, to for our uh, attendees to contact you with more questions. Uh, I, one last question from me before we wrap this up. Uh, so. I'm a host, and uh, let's say I'm selling my own, um, I don't know, my, I make a nice pie, a sweet pie, right? And uh, I just put it on the table for the guests when they arrive, and I want them to know that it's for sale. Um, so I put a small uh, like uh, piece of paper next to it that says this item is for sale, and I have a code, 
if I don't have a printer to print the barcode, what, what's the best way to let them know that it's for sale and for them to scan it in their application? So, um, yeah, so as I said, we send you a, a bunch of things to use mm -hmm. to put near items and um, and they're not like, they're actually very nice. I, I probably should go get one to show you what it looks like, but a, a welcome kit, I can show it to you. But um, And then really the key is the app will display what's for sale. So people can, you know, it's, it's going to be, if you have a lot okay, of stuff. If they open the app, they will see a list of items, maybe yeah, the items. One yeah. of them will be sweet pie on the table. Right, right. Okay. Okay, and then they just it. add it to you the just cart. Just click that right. and they yeah. can buy it without so, having to scan something. Right, right, okay. exactly. Great, so great. once they scan it once or open the app once, they see everything. They don't have mm -hmm. to. And then they can look at the picture. It's pretty obvious. This is a pie yeah. for sale. It's 20, 20 euro, whatever. Put in the cart and away we go, you know? Yeah. yeah. So it's not necessary for every item to be labeled with barcodes. No. Oh, no, no. It's only one code for the entire unit, too. Mm -hmm. So every barcode opens the same... Uh, page the same list of items yes and you just scroll through the list and click the one that you yes choose. right and it's okay. organized you can organize it into food category mini bar general merchandise rentals so you see you can just click on different things and see different things they have for sale and then you can just note as a notion i item put things around just to give them the idea that things are for sale here you know yeah Sounds but you don't awesome. have to definitely don't have to tag every item on the uh yeah yeah mm -hmm. sounds awesome so, Tony, thank you so much for your time. Uh, this was eye-opening. This is something I've never seen before in the market, and I'm sure a lot of people will be very interested in. So, uh, all for all you attendees that were here today, thank you for uh, being here. Thank you for uh, offering your time and uh, hearing out what Tony had to say. And we will um, send an email following up this, uh, when we wrap this up, with more information, uh, you know, the website for BN Sell It, the discount code for uh, the attendees, and uh, all the other information that you need. Um, Tony, thank you very much for being here. Thanks everyone for uh, attending. Maria, thank you for your help sending this up. And uh, I think we can do this again in a few months. Uh, yeah, let's, let's you know, do it again. And, yeah. um, it, I, there's gonna be a lot of traction, I'm sure, and a lot of interest yeah. from- uh, I appreciate customers. it. Look forward to working with you. Thank Steve you very much, Tony. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.